Alrighty. And I did it again, of course. Uh, never mind. Uh, I was back by the blue eyed girl, which hadn't blue eyes at all. And there was n no new option I could I could do. So I just got back and the guard is away and we can continue with the main quest. I've been invited to a banquet at the new Nowakot. Is this a Nowakot? I'm not sure. He says I can enter at 6 o'clock and at 6 o'clock. So now we go upstairs and we'll have some conversations, I guess. Yes. Whoa. Let's get some booze. Oh, Tris. Here we are. Wipe that frown off your face. You'll be fine. Can't we go back to your place? Make sure I have no internal injuries. Later, Geralt. Come on. This isn't so bad. Let's mingle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe meet some interesting allies. Ada looks divine. Even the nobles were hit hard by the witcher. Boring. Be nice. Be nice. Oh, hello. I look at the bowl. Nice meat, man. We cannot all be city councils. All right, this was a waste. Wealthy merchant. My hair prices will increase. Let's try first to talk to all the. Oh, hello. Geralt, allow me to introduce Burgomeister Velarad. Charmed. Greetings. It's uh, been a while. Velarad is King Foltest's right hand. No need for formal introductions. If you wish to open a factory or a shop, uh, kill a monster or petition the king, you must come to me. I'll remember that. Excuse us, Burgomeister, but we need to say hello to the other guests. Oh, hey. The remaining guests are in that room. Cool. You seem to be drunk already. Tala! Geralt, have you met Tala? Tala? Here? Let me introduce my master, the Honorable Erkin von Blunt. Good day, sir. Erkin has taken a vow of silence and thus cannot answer. You must be wondering why he is here. Indeed. He has made numerous vows in his life, one of which is to protect the royal family. Sadly, for unknown reasons, Princess Ada holds little respect for him. Vows, however, must be honored, whatever the circumstances. And how are you involved? Are you bound by his vows by extension? He authorized me to speak on his behalf, and I serve as his advisor. Of course. We shan't be bothering you. Come, Geralt. Hmm. I can get drunk with him together. But not yet. I spare this for the last. I knew a witcher. Peasants I have had enough. Ada looks divine. Even she's a bit thin for my liking. Security guard. Oh. Get out of my sight, freak. Are you a nice fella? Be nice. Hello, Ada. You look nice. Milady, allow me to present the sorceress Triss Merigold. And... Duet, I know who stands before me. We know each other, do we not, Witcher? One could say so, princess. A princess, indeed. Though I do not always feel like one. So many duties. You could not imagine, Witcher. Why do you stare? Is my dress displeasing? Uh, <laughs> oh, I charm her. I should be charming. Uh, for those who already forgot that, even though you have, I'm sure, a good memory, uh, in the first episode, there was a scene where we had to fought a vile beast. At least, 
the, the scene in the very beginning of the first episode so get suggested that we fought it but it was just a video and we turned her back to normal from her bestiality state and yeah that's how cute she looks when she's not a vile monster so there you have it forgive me milady but even the finest dress would pale in comparison to you mind your tongue mutant duet I will decide if and when I am offended. Your Highness, he is an aberration. Silence. It was a nicety. Leave us for now. Get out of my sight, Fink. You shall be summoned when I need you. Alright, I hope you will summon me very, very soon. Hmm, huh. and where now? A herald, a mysterious nobleman. Rumor says that King Radovid will negotiate with Foltest. All right. Welcome to Lord Levarden's feast. Well, let's talk to him. Geralt of Rivia and Triss Merigold, welcome. Greetings. I thank you for coming. Uh, look about the room and you will see the entire kingdom represented. We thank you for your invitation. Forgive me, I must return to my duties. I'm certain we'll speak later. You've met everyone who's anyone. I need to speak with Levarden. You behave yourself. Beware of anyone who tries to pry information from you. From me? But I'm just a witcher. Don't be fooled. Anything you say may have political ramifications. Oh, now I can't do shit here. I want to talk to Ada. You shall be summoned when I need you. Ah, come you. on. Get out of my sight. Ah, come on. Enjoying yourself? Exquisitely. Not enough food, nowhere to sit, and nothing but small talk. And I may be the only one here not involved in one of the many schemes or secret alliances being forged. It's a sign of the times, new customs and fashions. You think it better to show the Nilfgaardian we're barbarians? That we can't distinguish between a fork and a comb? That the only way we know how to feast is to get blind drunk and roar lusty songs while slapping the serving wenches on their ass? I'm a relic. Someone from the past, so I'm rather attached to the old customs. Never understood nor liked the new ones. But really, Taller, why are you here? I'm a patriot. I have the good of the kingdom at heart. A kingdom threatened by the schemes and alliances you were observant enough to note. I said I was an old-fashioned witcher. Be straight, like Taller the Fence would be. Taller the Fence does nothing for free. Taller the Fence is a scoundrel who'd prefer the Temple District not know he consorts with the cream of Vizima society. Have it your way. Let me tell you, friend, a serious slash fest is in the works. One without pardon. The defeated will be picked apart by crows. You'll be forced to fight for a new order, comrade, or against it. We will fight for our traditions and customs, for our land and our women. Who's this enemy? Who wants to steal our women? I wouldn't deceive you. I think you're one of us. It's a cause we share. I don't know the enemy yet, but I will soon, and when I do, the time of the sword and the axe will come. Blood will flow in the streets. And know this, comrade. There will be no room for your neutrality. <clears throat> you're kidding me? I will stay as neutral as possible. I go for those who pay me the most or something like that and not only who pay me the most but who are more to what I think is right and justice hmm. why do you want to draw me into a game that doesn't concern me this game concerns you more than you imagine you mean to tell me you're not interested in the conflict between the Order and the Scoia'tael? You mean to tell me you don't care? What about your lover, Triss Merigold? That's private. I want to destroy Salamandra. That is my only objective. Salamandra has a patron. Someone in this room, or one known here. You're up to your ears in this, Wolf, whether you like it or not. Hmm. Is Luvardin somehow involved? I need to get Urk in a private meeting with him. At present, his intentions are a pure riddle. To me, too. Really? What do you mean? 
Your friend seems to get along famously with Livarden. For two strangers, they certainly have much to discuss. See for yourself. I trust Triss. I suppose you know her better than I, but don't say I didn't warn you. Regarding Louvarden, we know he had some transnational organization of merchants, bankers, and other wealthy folk. Make what you will of it. Hmm. We saw Twist Mary God talk about with someone in the mirror, and she said that she doesn't want us to. How did she phrase it? That we are not supposed to find out what Triss Marigold's real intentions are. So we have to keep an eye out for Triss. Ah, oh, this is... But on the other hand, she, she seems to be a really old friend, so we should maybe trust her. Ah, oh, I'm really torn apart here. Who exactly is DeWitt, and what is he doing here? That Nilfgaardian dog is a mere pawn. I cannot fathom why Ada tolerates him. Explain. Like most knights of the order, he worries his dick's too small. So he gets aggressive whenever something scares him. Then, of course, he's a Nilfgaardian. Our princess has some weaknesses, but stupidity is not one of them. Maybe the princess has a game of her own going. Then she should choose better allies. Unlike chess, this game claims lives. I'm afraid someone might be using her. Hmm. Who exactly are you? And be straight with me, comrade. Temerian Intelligence. I execute the King's direct orders. I find traitors, rats, and foreign agents. I'm a spy. A highly placed spy. I can't deny it. May I ask a personal question? The amphibians you're after, are they a personal matter or an ideological one? <sighs> Marigold said to us we shouldn't tell too open about what we're up to. So, well, what harm can it be? If Is it person personal or ideological? What do the salamanders do? They kidnap small children and turn them into monsters. They threaten innocent people, which I can't stand. And... Yeah. Hmm. They stole from from the Witcher the Witcher secrets and that what we so it's personal and ideological for me at least. Ideological. Uh, Care to explain? They're criminal, evil to the core. Salamandra upsets the balance. As a Witcher, I can't ignore that. Got it. Thank you for being candid. Uh, fuck! Oh much <laughs> I, I made up my mind for both and I click easy <laughs> Oh God damn it It's like I I told him something as like I totally but but <laughs> but on the other hand I I turned him maybe in the wrong direction and you really think it's just idiot ideological and in the other hand it's really personal or both so I I I shrouded myself that's at least what I will tell me after I do the shit Alright I have to deal with it whatever What harm can it be? Excuse me for a moment. We'll talk later. I did. Tala made me that I'm driven by the fact that I'm a. <gasps> you! <laughs> Willy? 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 That I'm driven by the fact that I'm a witcher. That. Uh. Um. 
Yeah, whatever. I can deal with it. No money. We need only raise. Hello. Witcher, you may approach. Duet, fetch me some wine from that page boy at the end of the room. Your Highness. We may speak freely now. Geralt, tell me about witches, and please, don't hide behind your code. What are you asking, milady? What is your view on politics? To me, politics is like an encounter with a lover. Would you agree? Wait, politics is like an encounter with a lover? Uh, um, uh, do I understand this right? Politics is like an encounter with a lover. You try to hide your true intentions? Hmm, I will... I have a, not a child. Oh, I, I charm her. I really want to charm her. I am impressed by the comparison. Have you ever tried your hand at the fine arts, your highness? I am forced to study all kinds of nonsense, but books bore me, as does poetry for the most part. I agree. Books are for bores. Never mind. Back to our lovers ambulating about the room. You see, Witcher, politics is not unlike a tryst. It begins with full play, glances, conversations. Behold that witch with Luvarden. Now look to our noble Urkin in the courtiers. The dance grows bolder, fondling and such. Then, one is consumed by the desire to come together roughly, like animals. Finally, one is left with sad, passionless copulation. Velarad and Duet, for instance. <clears throat> Excuse me, your highness. Sore throat. We are adults, Geralt. We both know the desires of men. To meddle for you. you may be white, right, your highness. Power, sex, sex, power. They both come down to one thing. Fucking others! <laughs> yeah! This is actually... <laughs> Wait, not all men. I have no desire to meddle in politics, for instance. They both come down to one thing. Fucking other. This is... <laughs> the second one is really... Hmm. Hey, what are you doing here? Get off! Um, hmm, do I have to... Not all, man. I have no desire to meddle in politics. And... Ah, I really wanted to charm her, but now I think this all comes down to identity and things I want to... We are adults, Gerald. We both know the desires of man. Not all, man. I have no desire to meddle in politics when... Hmm, I can't be always outside of the world. Either I... I have to stay my own ground if I'm not in politics. Hmm. I can influence... I, I don't know, can I stand back for this or should I really go for the power, sex, sex, power, they both come down to one thing, fucking hell. Not all men, I have no desire to meddle in politics, for instance. Do I have no desire to meddle in politics? <sighs> this is really hard. That, this, those are so deep questions that I can't get a straight answer out of me. If I'm not honest, I maybe can't gain my memories back quite accurately. Or maybe I just... <laughs> I have no desires to meddle. Actually, I do have no real desire to meddle in politics, but on the other hand... But she's right. I go with number two. You may be right, your highness. Power, sex, sex, power. They both come down to one thing. Fucking others. <laughs> may I ask you a question? Go on. What is the king's stance on this topic? I mean, politics, of course. Ugh, dull. I have grown hungry, and there is naught worth eating at this feast. 
I tire of partridge tongues and caviar. Hmm, what do I most desire? I have it. I will answer your ever so dull question if you bring me what I most desire. Uh, I will answer your ever so dull question if you bring me what I most desire? What does she most desire? I don't... What? Hmm... My curiosity will remain unsatisfied. Allow me, my... I am disappointed, Witcher. Duet, we are leaving. No, 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 no! no. Duet, rid us of this intruder. No! 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 Fuck! Geralt, I spoke with Declan. No! 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 you should talk. No, 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 This is not my answer. I come back to you. This is not what I wanted to and to to to. Yeah, this is not what I wanted to do. Sorry, I have to interrupt it here. This is no. All right, see you back when I didn't misclick this shit.